Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate in these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, may the Lord forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who are weighed down from of old by slavery beneath the yoke of sin may be set free by the newness of the long-awaited nativity of your only begotten Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous shoot to David. As king he shall reign and govern wisely. He shall do what is just and right in the land. In his days Judah will be saved. Israel shall dwell in security. This is the name they give him, the Lord our justice. Therefore the days will come, says the Lord, when they shall no longer say, as the Lord lives, who brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but rather, as the Lord lives, who brought the descendants of the house of Israel up from the land of the north, and from all the lands to which I banish them, they shall again live on their own land. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time and the fullness of peace forever. O Lord, with your judgment endow the king and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time and the fullness of peace forever. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor, the lives of the poor he shall save. Justice shall flourish in his time and the fullness of peace forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous deeds, and blessed forever be his glorious name. May the whole earth be filled with his glory. Justice shall flourish in his time, the fullness of peace forever. 
of Israel, giver of the law to Moses on Sinai, come to rescue us with your mighty power. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him and took his wife into his home. He had no relations with her until she bore a son, and he named him Jesus. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Have you ever had that good news? Some good news that you wanted to share with people. And perhaps you thought that they would celebrate with you that good news. Whether it be a promotion at work, or perhaps a relationship, or something that you found to be very fulfilling, very rewarding, something that you think would benefit everyone and you wanted to tell people, and when you did, the reaction wasn't one that you wished to have. Perhaps they did not find it good news. Perhaps they were upset that you received that promotion and they did not. Perhaps they were jealous. Perhaps they were distrustful and thought that you got something not by doing it the right way, but by doing it some quick way or through someone you know, you didn't get the reaction that you expected. And you know, I think that happened today in the Gospel. For if you remember when the angel Gabriel came to Mary, we called that the Annunciation, and told her that God has asked her to bring forth the Savior into the world. And Mary received that news with great joy. She gave her fiat, her great yes. John the Baptist leapt in Elizabeth's womb for joy because our salvation was so close. Mary shares that good news with Joseph. He didn't have that same reaction. Perhaps he became suspicious. How could Mary be expecting when they have not had any relations? And so, as an outstanding man, he was going to divorce her quietly, because back then the penalty would have been stoning. But he loved Mary. He didn't quite understand the good news. In many ways, this is the incarnation or the enunciation from Joseph's perspective. But then the Lord came to him in a dream, and the Lord told him that this all is true. And yes, Joseph agreed, and Joseph became the foster father of Jesus. We see that many times the good news of salvation encounters resistance. It encounters suspicion. Sometimes it encounters downright hostility. 
For what is good news for the world? That Jesus Christ has been born. That Jesus Christ was crucified and rose again. Isn't good news to them? Because they realize when they encounter the Lord of life, they have to change their ways. Surrender themselves to the goodness of God. Follow in his commandments. It's easier to have resistance, suspicion, than to accept the truth of our salvation. That God so loved the world that he sent his only son, not to condemn the world, but that the world might have life. May we too be like Joseph and accept the good news of salvation. May we too be like Joseph who cared for Jesus, that we proclaim his name to the ends of the earth. Our salvation is close at hand. Let us acknowledge Jesus as Emmanuel. God is with us. Let us place our prayers before God. We pray today for the church throughout the world, that when the Lord comes, she may be waiting, watching, in expectant hope. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world, that our leaders will help us lead, a, lead us to the common good, where there will be peace and justice throughout the globe, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our own nation, that we may be a people who are dedicated to human life. From the moment of conception till natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the success of the vaccine that is being distributed, that we may wait patiently, and that its cure will be effective. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick and suffering, lonely and afraid. May they know the healing touch of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they be welcomed into the glory of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all your needs, all your intentions that we bring to the altar today in the very silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love and mercy, hear these our prayers. Grant them if they are your will, for they are made in the name of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise, the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice to be offered to you, O Lord, make us acceptable to your name, that we may merit for all eternity that to be the companions of Christ, by whose death our own mortality was healed. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with a love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. 
It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. And in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a wave of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You 
take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. His name will be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. Let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May we receive your mercy in the midst of your holy temple, O Lord and show fitting honor to the coming solemnities of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. O come, O day spring from on high, and cheer us by your drawing nigh. Disperse the gloomy clouds of night, and death's dark shadow put to flight. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to you, O Israel. O come, desire of nations, bind in one heart the, in one the hearts of humankind. O bid our sad division cease, and be for us our King of peace. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to you, O Israel.